So I love buffalo wings, but I also like pork ribs. I was wondering if I could take these two items, merge them together, and make a delicious food. So that's what we're gonna be trying today. All right, here are the ribs. So for this, I wanted to use a cut of pork loin back or baby back ribs. The reason I wanted that is because they're a lot more lean than your pork spare ribs. Since we're doing a buffalo style rib, like chicken wings, they're very lean. I wanted to go with the more lean cut of ribs. That's why I went with the baby back. So as usual, when I'm doing ribs, I went ahead, rinsed this thoroughly, then patted them dry as best as I could. Really wanna rinse your ribs off because all the bone fragments on there. But let's get these prepped. First thing you wanna do with these ribs, go ahead, flip them over and then check your ends. Usually you have to go ahead and trim each end of the rib off because there will be a piece of bone. This one looks like the bone is actually missing from right here. So all I want to really do is just square this up just like that. Now let's get our other side. Now if you can see there's a bone right here that's been cut. So you want to get rid of that. So just go right on the outside of that bone then you can go down through, trim that off. And that looks pretty good like that. So the next thing, this membrane here. Now if you're subscribed to my channel and you've watched any of my rib videos, you know I usually like to leave this membrane on. The reason I like that is because there's a lot of fat under here and the membrane keeps all that fat in when it's cooking. And when you cook it properly, you won't even notice this membrane when it's finished. But since we are doing baby back ribs and these are more lean, I'm just gonna go ahead and peel that membrane right off. Best way is to just get a butter knife, try and get under that membrane. Let me flip this over for you. So just get your finger worked under that membrane. Careful not to rip it. Then once you get all the way through the membrane, just go ahead, get your finger under there, and then you can just pull the whole thing off. Just like that, super easy. But again, I usually like leaving that membrane on the ribs for the reason I told you before. Because if you look at this, Look at how much fat is here. And this is just some baby back ribs. All this fat is gonna render out, it's gonna drip out, and you're gonna lose it. If you leave that membrane on, it'll stay on there. But again, these are loin back ribs, so I'm not too concerned about it. They're already pretty lean. But that should be pretty good for these. All trimmed up, membrane removed. Now we're ready for some seasoning. So let's go ahead, get that made. Now I know I've seen a Frank's Red Hot seasoning out there before, and that probably would be a great option for these ribs. I don't have that today, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my own seasoning for this. So we're gonna start off with some kosher salt, and a little bit of brown sugar, some black pepper, some chili powder, it's gonna give us our spice, then some paprika powder, then some cumin. Then I have this tahini seasoning, which is really nice stuff. Got a little bit of a lime flavor to it. I think this will be a nice little touch. There's also salt in here, so just be careful. And that is our seasoning. So let's just go ahead, mix this up. Make sure to break up all that brown sugar. All right guys, that is our seasoning for these ribs. It smells fantastic. Now before we go any further, I would like to let you know that I have started a Patreon channel. Really appreciate you guys checking it out. It will all go to support the channel. And the reason I wanna mention it now is because if you become a supporter on the Patreon channel, I'm going to be putting all the seasoning and sauce recipes I do in my videos right on there that you can go find. But let's get back to it. This is all set, so let's get these ribs seasoned. All right, so let's get these ribs back. Now, I usually don't like to use a binder with any of the meats that I cook. I find that it blocks some of that smoke penetration that you wanna get. But since we're doing buffalo ribs today, I think I'm gonna use a binder and I'm gonna have to go with the Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce as a binder. Not too much, just a little bit on here. Let's get rub that in. You really wanna rub it in to get the sauce to tack up a little bit. All right, that should be good, let's get these seasoned. Starting with the bone side first. Let's go ahead and put a nice liberal coating of this seasoning we made on here. Make sure to get all the edges, get them flipped over. Season this top side. Just pat that in. Get all the seasoning off the board. And there we go, check those out. So this rub smells fantastic already. 
I'm super excited about this. Now I'm gonna be cooking these on my offset smoker today. So I've already got out there, I've started my fire. I'm gonna be using a mix of maple and oak today. Smoker should be up to temp now, so let's go ahead and get these ribs out and onto the smoker. The lady's right now in the middle of the grate, and I always like to squeeze the ribs together, get them all bunched up, but that should be good. Let's get this closed up and let these smoke. So I wanna try and maintain around 250 degrees on this smoker. My main concern is that we added that brown sugar to that seasoning. If we get too high temperatures on the smoker, the sugar has a chance to burn and we do not want that. And I'm thinking about two hours on these will be good. I just wanna get a nice crust and a little bit of smoke flavor on those ribs. At that point, I will pull them off, then I'm gonna get them wrapped with some butter, honey, some hot sauce. I think that'll be a good mixture for these. I'm gonna put them back on, let them go till they are finished. Then I'll pull them out and we'll get them sauced with a nice buffalo sauce we're gonna make and finish them off that way. Let's jump ahead and go check on these ribs. All right, we are one hour in on the buffalo ribs. Let's take a gander. Oh yeah, these are looking really good. See, we're starting to pull away from the bone a little bit. Getting a little bit of a bark going here. See how tender they are. We're getting there. Let's see what we got for temp. About 152, seems about right for the tenderness I'm feeling in here. Double check another spot, yep, 153. So these still probably need another hour. We can see some of these edges are starting to get a little bit overcooked. So all I wanna do is give these a spritz. So here I've made up little spritz with equal parts vinegar and Frank's Red Hot, and then a little bit of honey. I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz this. That honey is gonna add a nice little glaze once it starts cooking out of here. All right, so I'm gonna get these back in and I'm gonna spritz these every 15 minutes for the next one hour. Then these should be ready to pull off. So I'll see you then. All right, another hour for these ribs. See how they're looking? Now I've been spritzing these every 15 minutes or so. You can see they're looking really nice. Bark is really starting to build up. See it's getting a little dark. It's because all that sugar and then that honey and that spritz as well. So I think these are just about ready to come off just by how they look. You feel them? Yeah, it's starting to get pretty tender. Still needs more time, but we're gonna wrap them up. So for temp, you can see we are still at about 155 about 160 on the thinner end. But these still need some more time, but that bark looks good to me. So I say pull them off and we're gonna get these wrapped up. Here are the ribs. They look really nice. They definitely are giving me that buffalo chicken vibe for sure. Got all those similar smells. Let's get these to the side. Here, I'll give you a little close up. So that looks really good. You can see we're building a nice crust over on this end. We were getting a little dark there, so that's why I wanted to go ahead and pull them off. All right, so I got a little tin foil here to get it wrapped up, but first we gotta prep it with some ingredients. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit of this butter, and I'm not going shy with it. Now I wanna sprinkle on a little brown sugar. Then we go on with a little bit of honey. And since we're doing buffalo wings, we will stay with the theme with some Frank's Red Hot. And this is going to turn into our sauce later that we are going to baste these ribs with. Now go ahead, grab that rack of ribs, then go meat side down, right on top of all that goodness. Then I wanna add a little bit of butter on top, along with more brown sugar, some honey, and some more of that hot sauce. This is all set. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get them wrapped up. You wanna get it real nice and tight. There we go. Then just wrap up the second layer for security. There we are, ready to go back on the smoker. So I'm gonna throw it out there. I'm gonna let it go probably an hour to two hours, somewhere in there. Then after that, we'll get it out of the foil and we'll get it on the smoker uncovered and we'll baste it with a delicious buffalo sauce that we're gonna make from the drippings that are left over in this tin foil. So let me get this out on the smoker and I'll see you guys when we're ready to get this unwrapped. 
So I let them cook on the smoker wrapped up like that for two hours till I got an internal temperature of 195 degrees. So I got the ribs out of the foil wrap. You can see they looked fantastic. They were super tender. I took them out, put them back on the smoker. And what I did was I took all the drippings that were left over in that tin foil, dumped it into a cup, and added a little extra bit of that Frank's Red Hot right into there, mixed it up, took that mixture out to the smoker, and I basted these ribs and let them cook for another half an hour. And here they are, all finished up. They look fantastic and they smell even better. So I wanna get right to it, slice these up, and give them a try, because I'm dying to see how these came out. Check out these ribs. See, they got a nice glaze on them, pulled off the bone nicely. So what I like to do with ribs usually is I'll flip them over to cut them so it makes it a lot easier to see where the bones are. There we go. We'll get these flipped over. And these look beautiful. Some delicious looking ribs. Check that out. Nice and juicy. Let's see how this thing tastes. Mm, that is so good. First things first, check out the bite on here. You can see this thing is perfectly tender. Now there's a really fine line with ribs with making sure that they're tender enough but that they're not so tender that you can't even really cut them apart. This is exactly how I like my ribs. They're tender enough to eat. They don't completely fall off the bone. As for the buffalo flavor, this is right on. It tastes just like a buffalo chicken wing. The only thing you're really missing is that crispy skin, but with this bark, it does the job just as well. I love these flavors. It's not too spicy, but man, these ribs are good. Mmm. I can taste that rub underneath and it has amazing flavors and the smoke flavor we have on here is fantastic. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like. Now, like I said earlier, be sure to check out the Patreon page. I'll put that down in the description below. I'll also put a link to everything I like to use down below as well. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe right over here. And if you wanna see another one of my barbecue videos, check this one out over here. But most importantly, guys, Get out there and smoke something good. Mm.